Jeremy, thanks so much. And topping our news at 10, city and state leaders held an open house tonight to give the public a chance to learn more about the upcoming Polk Quincy Viaduct rebuild. 13's Victoria Cassell went to the event tonight at the Holiday Building. She's back with a report for us. What did you find there tonight, Victoria? David, the Kansas Department of Transportation, in collaboration with the City of Topeka and Project Partners, hosted a community open house from 5 to 7 p.m. to learn more about the project. It was a full house Thursday as community members stopped by to learn the latest on the I-70 Polk Quincy Viaduct Replacement Project. It's a great chance to talk to people one on one and to have your questions answered individually. We have reference materials online, but there's really nothing that beats uh, personal interaction. Um, my dad is actually one of the key engineers on the project, so I'm just supporting him and I'm also just interested to see what he's been doing because I know he's been working very hard. The event showcased various informational booths and poster boards detailing design plans, anticipated timelines, and upcoming utility relocation work. Our business is along First Street and the, you know, the area uh, along the corridor where the viaduct is at and downtown Topeka will be affected. But just in general, uh, the traveling public, anybody that uses I-70, uh, they're going to be affected by main maintenance of traffic and construction as well. The project, expected to cost around $200 million, will enhance safety and improve the corridor by expanding I-70 from four lanes to six lanes, replacing the existing viaduct and flattening the curve on I-70 near 3rd Street. We're going to let our project in the fall of 2024, so here a little over a year. Uh, I think you're going to really see construction activity start probably early in 2025, and we hope to be wrapped up in fall of 2027. Now, if you weren't able to make it out to the open house tonight, we have a link on our website where you can get in touch with city leaders. David. Victoria Cassell tonight. Thanks. Washburn University unveiled some new